What's up everyone, it's Bucky. Welcome to your 14th C tutorial. And in this tutorial, I'm gonna be teaching you guys about an array. Now what an array is, is pretty much a way that you can store multiple items of the same type in your computer. Or in other words, uh, this might be a little easier to understand. You can store multiple values in a single variable. So, um, you might not be able to grasp that concept yet, but I promise you by the end of this tutorial, you'll be an array expert. So, the first thing that you need to do, again, just like a normal variable, is define it. So, go ahead and type whatever value you're going to be returning, or going to be uh, storing it. I'm going to be just working with numbers, so I'm going to go ahead and write int for injure. Next, you're going to need to name your array. Give it any name you want. I'm going to name mine Bucky. Now, the next thing you do is a little different than uh, defining a single variable. You need square brackets, and inside those square brackets, you have to type whatever number you're going to want to reserve in your memory. Now, since I'm going to be storing five different values in this array, I'm going to go ahead and write the number five. And what that does is tell your compiler and your computer, all right, we're going to have five numbers. So go ahead, go into my memory, and reserve five spaces for this array. So it's going to go, okay, done. The next thing that we're going to want to do is assign variables or assign values to the elements in this array. Now, although we have five different elements we just built in Bucky, we don't start with the number one and go to five. Your computer, since it loves zeros and ones, it's going to start with the value zero and go zero, one, two, three, four. So zero to four are the elements you're gonna be able to work with, not one to five. So your maximum is always one less than whatever you define. And I'll show you guys what this means later. But to store different uh, values in each of these elements, what we need to do is do just that. So this is how you do that. Go ahead and write the name of your array, and this is just for assigning values. Then, since zero is our first element, we need to assign a value to this. So go ahead, Bucky zero equals, and we'll just put 16. And we do this for the entire list of our array. So Bucky one equals uh, 21. Now, let's just go ahead and make a simple print statement to make sure that this is working all right printf percent d might as well put a new line for formatting and go ahead and instead of your variable go ahead and put whatever element in the array it is so bucky zero now let's go ahead and compile and run this and we should get the number 16 come on come on no whammy no whammy right there 16 but what happens if we um try to print out an element that hasn't been assigned a value yet such as three well I'm not even sure myself so let's go ahead and test it out got to feed my curiosity you know ooh that's interesting that might be a location memory I don't know but we don't want to do that so what you want to do is before you go ahead and doing all that you want to go through your array and make your entire list and assign values to each of those numbers. Now, you can either do that Bucky 0, Bucky 1, Bucky 2, Bucky 3, Bucky 4, and that'll give you your 5. But there's a much easier way to do this, and I'm going to show you guys that right now. Instead of doing one number by one number, what you can do is define the values right when you're defining your array. So, put Bucky 5 equals and then in your curly braces all you have to do is type in five values so let's type in 21 13 435 56 and 7 and what this is going to do is assign the element number 0 1 2 3 4 5 and this is also called the position number because it's what position in the array it is so bucky 0 is going to equal 21 bucky 1 is going to equal 13 Bucky 2, 435, 356, 4, 7. And remember, even though this is 5, that just means there's 5 elements. It doesn't mean you need 5 or your um, position number doesn't go to 5. 
So again, when you define an array and have, this is how many um, spaces in memory it's going to take up. But remember, your position number starts at zero, so it's always one less than that. Now let's say we want to print out uh, Bucky 3. So again, let's print that out, and it's going to go, well, here's Bucky 0, here's Bucky 1, 2, 3. So we're going to get the number 56. So let's go ahead and see that right there. Come on, come on, no whammy, no whammy. Right there, 56. And this is how you can store multiple values in a single variable. And go ahead and experiment with this. And um, another thing I want to teach you guys one last time is if you're making a list and you want to find out how many elements you have but you don't exactly know how many you have maybe you have the user input um, a certain number of things and you don't know how many it's going to be you can leave this number uh, blank in when defining your array and what this will do is tell your computer alright I don't know how many numbers we're going to have but I do know we're going to have an array so just reserve a bunch of space and then let's make a couple more numbers here and then uh, what your computer does is automatically uh, take that number and it pretty much just does everything automatically for you that's all you need to know for right now so let's go ahead and print on number like uh, 7 so it'll go 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 should get the number 32 so let's go ahead and do that come on 32 32 bam right there so again in conclusion that is your intro to array and I know it might seem still kind of confusing but I promise in the next couple tutorials we're going to be building some simple programs and I'm showing you and I'll show you why an array is actually useful and not just have to have fun with so again thank you guys for watching hopefully you understood a little bit about arrays but I promise I'll be clearing this up for you in the next couple tutorials so again, thank you. Don't forget to subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time.